seeing everyone here on Facebook who are following those who are following Julie Michelle Temple Beauty on her page. Good morning to you. Good morning to you all. Um, I know many have not been seeing me, you know, haven't done a Facebook live for a very, very, very long time. I know, I know. And it just hit me this morning. You know what? Let me see if we could come in here quickly. You know, I think I'm still going to do a post. But let me come in here quickly and let me see if we could talk some pedicures. I know you're seeing person's feet on my pages. Some I may state what they got. Sometimes I might not have bothered to state what they would have got. So I just post it, post it, post it. But we're talking about gel pedicure treatments and how important is it and how often you should get one. Now, one of the things that I tell people, uh, the reason why, first of all, why it is called gel pedicure before the word pedicure is because you're getting the gel polish put onto your toenails. Okay, the gel, the actual gel polish that requires curing with the UV or the LED lamp is what is being put on your toenails. Why pedicure treatment, why the word treatment on that is because the pedicures that I give is not what you usually would get. So I wanted to, to distinguish between the two because I know many persons are accustomed getting those pedicures that are done within 40 minutes. And usually my regulars know, they know different. They know how long the duration for the pedicures will take. And I also have the duration there when you go into book along with the, the, the price. There's always the time slot to let you know how long each service will take. So the gel pedicure treatments take roughly two hours and 30 minutes. Some people may just go over that two hours and 30 minutes depending on the condition of their feet okay because they may require more soaking of their feet to make sure that they get all that dry skin off you know all the calluses remove off of their, 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 um, their feet as well as cleaning those nail beds those ear pockets and those cuticles um so i'm basically here just to talk about the steps in the pedicure treatment that i take as well as how often, because I know that's a question that many persons will ask me, including my regulars, all the time, don't know why you keep asking me that, um, regulars of Julie Michelle Temple Beauty, but it is a question that's always asked all the time. And usually, I will randomly say jokingly, your feet will tell you, which really and truly your feet will tell you. If you start raking the sheets on your bed, if you realize you're picking up things off of the floor with your feet, if you realize that everything is just raking on your feet, your feet is raking up everything, it's cutting your skin, might even be cutting your partner's skin, then that is an indication to you it is time to go and get a pedicure. And is a pedicure also only for females? No, it is not. Men can also get their feet done. They don't obviously minus the, the, the actual colors of the gel polish. But if they want to shine for their nails, not only can it can be um, the nails will be buffed, but to get the further um, added shine, they too can get the clear gel put on their nails. It does not on their toenails, that is. It does not say that one you are um, feminine or anything like that. It just says that, hey, I, as a man, want to maintain my, the condition of my feet. I want my feet to look properly, you know, I feel properly, okay? So, it does not take away from your manhood. You men who may think that getting a pedicure made me, oh my God, I can't go sneak in there. I'm kind of the boy, no, I get a pedicure. And then she gives me a pedicure. Don't put that shine on my feet because people are going to know, oh my God, he went and do the impossible. No, no, no. Now, let me talk about how often shall one get a pedicure? If your feet builds up too much dry skin so quickly, then every month a gel pedicure is for you. If your feet may take a little longer, maybe you're doing stuff at home to slow the process, which is admirable. I always recommend that, you know, have a foot file there to help smooth in some of those rough skin until you get back there. It's like going to the dentist. When you go to the dentist, you're, you're not going to the dentist for them to clean your teeth and then you don't ever clean it again. No. When you go to the dentist, they do the, the additional work that you yourself with your toothbrush cannot reach even the floss. 
but when you get home uh, to you get back to the dentist again, you have to still brush your teeth. The same thing applies to the pedicure. Okay, when you get the pedicure from Julie Michelle Temple Beauty, have that foot fell there, or even one of the stones, have that there. That when anything feels like it's building back up on your feet, until you get back to get a pedicure, after you take your shower, you will just scrub your feet um, gently, just to smooth off things nicely. Okay. Right, so, but if you have built up on your skin too quickly, then every month will be fail. If the process slows up a bit where you don't have that built up as quick, because some people have the built up as quick, more, more quickly than others, then two to three months uh, will be the time for you to come back again to, to get another pedicure done. Now, women, I want you to really take, men too, I want you to take care of your feet because you must understand, especially with the ash that's happening here in Barbados and all the dust and everything. Those who do gardening and that kind of thing, all the dirt, those who, who deal with flour, all that dirt and everything is building up underneath your nails, your nail bed, causing you to have air pockets, which is a no-no. And treating it and putting um, tea tree oil inside it is not going to be enough. You need that pedicure to clean out those air pockets and keep them very clear and nice and clean okay that is the hate thing to keep them clean okay um yeah so let me talk about the stages now of the gel pedicure so when you come i prep your feet in terms of i if you if you want me to nails cut down i cut down that i shape it in i take off all the 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 built up onto your nail itself. I take off all of that. I clean around the cuticle. Okay, dust off your feet. I go for you to, um, I spray your feet with the antibacterial spray that I have for the pedicures. And then I put your feet in the water, warm water. The product is already inside that warm water to soften your feet, to help with the softening process, to soften the skin and everything that needs to be removed. When your feet is in there, I then put in my cuticle remover onto your toenails and you sort there. Some people could sort for 15 minutes, some for 20, some for 30, some up to 45 minutes. Again, depending on the condition of your feet. Some people, that's why I said, the two hours and 30 minutes for the gel pedicure. If you are in a hurry, don't book that pedicure. But some people feet are in very bad shape. So what happens is, is that even though I might sort, let me say sort for like 30 minutes, I go in and I start that pedicure. Then they have to put back their feet again to soak again for a few more minutes to take off um, the remainder that is there. Anyhow, when after the foot is um, soaked for that amount of minutes, then I start the pedicure. I use my tools to help take up the, um, bring up the, the skin. Then I use my, there's a razor, not an actual razor that we use for the eyebrows, but there's an actual razor for the feet that is used to help remove the skin. At first, many years ago, I didn't like the idea of that, but let me tell you, it work, it works wonders. And one of the things about Julie Michelle Tama Beauty, um, I do not reuse things on person's feet, just like the eyebrows, just like when I do with hair. When I put that shower cap on your hair, it does not go rinse out and put there on the nail for the next plant. No, when they put that shower cap, that, that plastic cap on your hair for your your treatments, when that is removed, that goes right into the garbage. The same thing applies to the razor that I use for your eyebrows. When I'm finished cutting your, uh, shaping your eyebrows, I break it up and I discard of it um correctly the same thing goes to when i'm dealing with your feet with the razor that is used for your feet i break it up and i discard of it um correctly so nothing is reused on a whole set of persons okay nothing is reused on a whole set of persons just like when i give persons when they cut their hair that machine is well um, clean and I ain't talking about just spraying something I'm talking about I'm washing it yes you hear me telling you I'm washing my machines with the um, water and everything else and what needs to go into that anyhow so then after cleaning off your feet I'm just talking about the stages of the pedicure then from there um clean cleaning your bed and everything the cuticle is well clean everything looks well clean let me tell you it has to be well clean then from there then um the next stage is to rinse off that feet with the water that is there then dry off very thoroughly and 
make sure everything is well um, dried off your feet then we go into massaging the feet and putting on the foot mask from there then we go because they're products i would have used before massaging the feet to help soften those cuticles as well as to soften the the, the calluses and the dead skin underneath your feet anyhow after putting on that foot mask then we get fresh water warm water again to um, clean off we scrub off with a brush to take off the foot mask off of your feet and then i dry the feet thoroughly again well well dried then to cream your feet and then to put on the cooling gel from there that ends the that actual part of the pedicure then we go to polishing your toenails so it hangs roughly why we need the two hours and 30 minutes so when you come just come and relax relax you know unwind come and relax and get yourself that pedicure okay get yourself that pedicure and that's basically it you know maybe I may come on to talk about the gel manicure treatment but that's basically it for the pedicures so again just want to encourage each and every one of you to take care of your feet you only have two and for those who may have one foot and you think oh she's not going to want to do my one foot that is not true that you still have a foot to be done you can still book your pedicure to get that one foot done okay of course in a situation like that then the price for you will cut in half okay because it's only one foot but like i said whatever you have treat your feet properly treat your feet correctly you only have two or in this case you have one so for you who only have one take better care of that one foot that you have and rock it rock it with style let me tell you um that's basically it you know have a wonderful monday have a wonderful week and whatever you do keep taking care of you taking, taking care of you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet have a wonderful day bye bye